We're in Berlin, Germany, exploring diving technique with Olympic silver medalist Patrick Hausting. When you don't feel gravity, it's really special. You have to be very brave and love flying through the air, twisting, turning all the time and rotating. It never gets boring. If you're all into that, you, you might be a good diver. As a world champion and Olympic silver medalist, Patrick Hausting has reached the pinnacle in diving, where athletes perform aerial gymnastics with laser-like precision. The movements involved put a tremendous physical torque on the body, and with the Olympic Games on the horizon, taking extra precautions during training to avoid injury is essential. It started lately, my shoulder hurts. I don't know exactly yet what it's all about. My biceps tendon hurts, and I'm gonna meet a doctor today to get a diagnosis. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Maybe it's just a result of hard practice and maybe too much practice. It's really important to, to keep your body moving and to do a lot of athletic training so that when you get back to the water and do your normal dives, that you don't have to start from nothing, from zero, so that you have still a good level to uh, come back quickly. I started with some running because you have to get your muscles uh, warmed up and then I started doing a session on the trampoline. There were many little technical things. There was a lot of twisting and rotating and practicing to open the dive and just some little exercises for your belly and of course for my shoulder. I did a lot of shoulder exercises to get it stable for practice. It looked quite hard but I didn't do too many somersaults and warm up. I was trying not to, not to involve my shoulder too much into this session. The ball exercise is really difficult. You have to try it several times before it works properly. You mostly use your complete legs and your core and you have to tighten so many little muscles, not just the one you're using when you're doing normal lifting because your ground is, is not stable and so you have to balance all the time and tighten and untighten your muscles. So it's different and it's really exhausting. When you're on springboard in Dryland, it's not that dangerous because you don't have water where you can land, not that vertical as you want to, but you can injure yourself in Dryland. I mean, you just need to land on your back or on your head. You can get injured really seriously. The good thing is that you don't have to concentrate on the entry and the entry is one of the most important things in diving because you have to enter the water with no splash and as vertical as possible and in dry land it's complete opposite. You have to land sitting or on your back or standing. It's more the technical thing that you practice in dry land. After finishing his dry land warm-ups, Hausting turns his attention to the pool where despite his injury he can practice the most important part of the dive. I'm always doing just the forward entry practice. Backward entry practice would be a little dangerous for my shoulder. I would say like 70, 80 percent is entry in diving. Everything else, like distance from the board and aesthetic components, how fast you spin, keeping your legs together and keeping your knees straight and everything, that's, that's other components. But the entry is the last thing the judge will see of you. The lower the splash, the more score you get. In competition, divers perform in front of a panel of judges who award scores based on level of difficulty, technique, execution, and crucially, water entry. The scoring is working from zero to 10. So 10 is perfect dive and zero is a totally failed dive. And the perfect score is perfect distance from the board. Your feet are stretched, your knees are straight, and everything looks great. And the entry must be with no splash. You just have a sound of and that's it. So you disappear like a stone. The problem is when you're diving off 10 meter, for example, you have one and a half seconds to do like three and a half or four and a half somersaults and twists and a good entry. And if just one little component of these technical things doesn't work properly, you have to improvise. And then you start doing something different or you have to open earlier or you have to open your dive later. And when you're just not having 180 degrees, at the entry, it's not a 10 anymore. 